I am pleased to give access today to the information on the discovery of the roots of human intelligence. This is a very old discovery that has been evolving for many, many years, meaning it began nearby 40 years ago, and people and their evolution have been followed for decades to see how their intelligence evolves applied to the real world. We, we discuss the intelligence in concrete terms and we have found that there are three levels of intelligence in the human mind that emulate the intelligence of nature. There is a reactive intelligence that deals with the reaction of individuals in the environment. There is an active intelligence that drives the pro-action of individual in, in the environment. And there is an onto-intelligence that deals with the nature of things, that allows individuals to apprehend the unified field of things in order to make things happen. When you deal with complex adaptive environment, or make, to make it simple, to adaptive environment, where the individual is influenced while he is influencing, it is necessary to understand the nature of what is happening and as human actions are driven by the concepts they have, the knowledge of the concept of what is being done is necessary to develop an adaptive function. Thus, uh, the discovery of the onto-intelligence, the intelligence that allows dealing with a unified field, allows understanding what happens with an individual in an environment. What was discovered, the first intelligence that was discovered was the logical type of thought, defining operational thinking, analytical thinking, systemic thinking, and conceptual thinking. But these four types of thinking are integrated by the, by the unisys thinking that allows integrating the double dialectic of reality, which is implicit and explicit in the intelligence that underlies nature, which can only be apprehended if an individual is able to manage unity thinking. This unity thinking, based on the logical type of thought, includes the strategic intelligence, which is the intelligence an individual uses to manage the conflicts in the environment. Strategic intelligence drives the action of individuals, beginning with a freedom fighting action, a flank defendant action, a frontal action, and ending in an a space, o empty space occupying action. The, this intelligence defines the amplitude of the field an individual can apprehend. The, the, more, the wider the, com the environment is, the more conflicts an individual has to face in order to adapt to the environment. And finally, there was, the, the, there was a discovery of the ethical intelligence which demanded more than 20 years until it could be defined and apprehended, which defines the intention of individuals. And thus, what could be found is that there is a survival intelligence, that there is a value-earning intelligence, a value-adding intelligence, a foundation intelligence, and a conceptual intelligence. These ethical intelligences define the actions of individuals, the intention of the action of individuals, the levels of added value, and the focus an individual has in the environment. Thus, we could define the unity thinking approach, which allows empowering the capacity to influence environment by understanding and influencing the environment in its unified field, which always includes the restricted and the wide concepts. This is done through a process of reflection. Mm -hmm. Reflection in teams is what allows expanding the unity thinking an individual has. Unity thinking is sustained by ethical intelligence, and ethical intelligence, which is the basic intelligence of individuals, evolves with the maturity of individual, meaning through real actions Consciousness is expanded, ethical intelligence is expanded, and the individual empowers his capacity to influence the environment. I hope you take advantage of this because it allows going to the next stage of personal evolution based on a personal reflection process 
driven by the action, reflection, action process that is necessary to expand unit thinking. Thank you.